Hi, I'm back with another vlog. Today I am vlogging on former club kid and fabulous YouTube personality Ernie Glam. This video was requested by about five people in the last two weeks, so I definitely wanted to get it done and get it uploaded for you guys today. I also want to thank you guys for commenting, sharing links, liking the videos. I like hearing from you and I like getting the chance to respond, so thanks again for all the support. So born Ernie Garcia, Ernie Glam became one of the most prominent and influential New York club kids, and to this day he remains one of the most visible alongside the likes of James St. James, Michael Alec, and RuPaul. In episode number 80 of Ernie's YouTube show that he co-hosts with Michael Alec called The Pew, they discussed how Ernie first met Michael Alec. Alec said, quote, I remember the first time I saw you was at Coco Bana. It was in the bathroom and you had a pipe cleaner mustache and I think you were hanging out with Billy Beyond and that impressed me. Although I hate Billy Beyond now, but at the time I thought that anyone who associated with him must be fabulous. At this, Ernie replied, quote, and you were right. Michael went on to share his first impression of Glam, saying, quote, He reminded me of this combination of Dr. Seuss and Mr. Spock. So we exchanged numbers, and very soon after, we went to Germany. When Alec was throwing the weekly Disco 2000 party at Limelight, Ernie Glam was chosen to play Clara the Go-Go Dancing Chicken, who would often be found dancing in a cage over the dance floor. Clara the Chicken remains one of the most memorable characters from the Disco 2000 era, and for this, Michael Alec credits Ernie Glam's performance as the chicken. Ernie Glam addressed this by saying that he viewed Clara the Chicken as performance art, the opportunity to create another character, and that he viewed Clara the Chicken to be more like his drag persona. In the 1998 Party Monster Shockumentary, Ernie Glam was interviewed and spoke of his experience at Disco 2000, saying, quote, There was a very sleazy side of Disco 2000, and about four months into the event, he, Michael Alec, finally started to get the mixture balance, and he realized that sex was an important component. One of the big features of Disco 2000 at the time was the hot body contest. There was a lot of nudity, there was a lot of crazy things going on there. Ernie was also in attendance at Michael Alec's outlaw parties, which were spontaneous events hosted in public places like McDonald's and the New York subway. In Glory Days, Glam spoke on what it was like in New York during that time, saying, quote, New York really was run down. It was 1984, the subways were an absolute mess, and there was graffiti everywhere. Ernie then became the advertising editor for Project X magazine. Michael Alec and Julie Jules founded Project X and jointly ran it together. Project X ran for about seven years. On an episode of Richard Bay's talk show that featured the club kids, Glam said that he would have meetings with advertisers in his outrageous club kid attire because, quote, most of the advertisers for Project X would be less likely to advertise if I was wearing a suited tie. In episode 73 of The Pew, they were discussing the creative differences between Alec and Jules at the magazine who wanted the publication to be more mainstream. Glam said, quote, having been in the middle of it because I actually worked in the office with Julie in the day, there were conflicting editorial priorities, is my way of putting it, and the fights went on until the magazine folded. In 2014, James St. James wrote an article for NewYorkMag.com in which he wrote of Glam, quote, is a staff writer for the Journal News in White Plains and wrote the foreword to Alexis de Blasio's Club Kid photo exhibition and book, Fabulosity, A Night You'll Never Forget or Remember. In episode 311 of The Pew, Glam explains why he didn't do a cameo in Party Monster. Glam said, quote, I wasn't in Party Monster because at the time they were filming it, they kept calling me and I was really busy because I had just started a new job. Glam in recent years has also published two books, Darkest Tunnel in 2015, which is a fiction book about a week in the life of two New York nightlifers, and 69 Hangovers in 2016. Ernie is also the producer of Flouncy TV on YouTube and can currently be seen on The Pew with Michael Alec. You can also follow Ernie Glam on Twitter, at Ernie Glam. So that's all I have for you today. I will bring you more updates on Ernie Glam as I come across them. I want to thank you guys for watching like always. You can click the kitty to subscribe if you're new here. I upload four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And you can check out some of my other videos or some of my playlists. Thanks a lot and I will see you guys again next time.